Thank you.
which I'm going to demonstrate this feast for you. In the medieval ages, you would probably find something like this to hold the magician. I can show you around. And actually, can we have a light in the audience? Uh, if you can turn the light on for a moment. House lights, yes. And I'm going to go around because I will need a help. I will need a help of a couple of people. Perhaps uh, you, sir. Would you be able to help us? What is your name? Dominic. Dominic. Nice to meet you, Dominic. And also, if I can ask you, if you can come as well. Now, Dominic, come up here. And uh, by the way, Dominic, uh, name any person which is not here today. Um. Judith. Judith, can you spell it for me? I'm going to write it down here for further references. J U D I T H. Very good. It'll make sense later on. Let me put something up here. Pardon me? My hands are safe. Yes, your hands are safe. Actually, I'm going to ask you to step up here and examine these locks for whatever it is. Make sure it's solid. This is for you to examine. There's no hidden keys and hidden locks inside of that. It looks very solid. Very, very solid. Perfect. And if I can ask you to take a very close look, put your head right here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also, I would like to tell you that Hundini was very good at promoting his shows and he would get lots of money for them. Not me today, because I don't know how to market anything, but <laughs> Hundini was very good at it. So if you can put your head up there. Okay, here we go. Uh -huh. And your hands actually here. Good, perfect. I didn't know I'd be the cobaya. Yes. 
And very slowly, I just want you to see how comfortable it is. Ah, good, perfect. And we will lock this little padlock here. The key is right there, I hope. I hope you keep it. Good. Now, um, actually, let me think of something back about something. Uh, Hundini, Hundini uh, as I said, was a very good marketer. And uh, you're probably asking how he can make money on something like this. Well, let me show you. Uh, my assistant is probably ready. So uh, can you please come up here? Uh, of course, we cannot do anything uh, with this guy. But uh, the tomatoes, $2 each. <laughs> The eggs, five dollars each. You can purchase them from her anytime, and he's locked. <laughs> Any takers? I guess not today. Well, very well. Thank you so much. She didn't work. Hundini was much better. My son will take one. Very good. So, Dominic, can you escape from this? Absolutely not. Surely not. Then I will ask you to help me with something. Uh, come on over. I'm going to place my hands here. Okay. And uh, again, we will open this completely. You hold it on this side up there. Mm -hmm. You can hold it up here. I do? Yes. Do? I'll place my hands inside, my head in the, and if I can ask you to close that on me, okay. this. And what do I do with this? Uh, leave it for now. You are closing it? Am I closing Yes, you can close it. Really fast. No, uh, slow, please. <laughs> And if I may ask, can you pull my hair out the front? You get entangled in my... One second, one second. <laughs> this looks very weird. <laughs> uh -huh. And if you can close the stocks too. Push yeah. it out. Very good. Place it inside and then close it. And there's a padlock on the thing. Make sure you don't lose the key. <laughs> and actually, can I have a new... Can I have a music? Uh, yeah, just put it back there. <laughs> put a padlock to it and lock it. Just push it back. Push it lock. <laughs> yes, you can try. This is probably more difficult than I thought. Okay. Perfect, good. Now, if you can place the cover over my head and over the stocks. Very good. And cover me, cover me completely. Yes. And then if you can please hold on a padlock for dear life. Hold. From one side. Yes. And you can hold the stocks on the other side. Make sure I cannot escape. Okay. And uh, as you can tell by me struggling around here, uh, can you please <laughs> just cover me completely? Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it takes Andini just a second to get out of it, but... <laughs> and that's how you work the magic in medieval ages. Thank you so much, Dominic. Thank you, Thank you so much. You may go back to see. And I do need a volunteer. Somebody brave. And that would be, dun, 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 dun. actually I need something bigger, I, probably you, if I can ask you to come up help me. Okay. What is your name? Linden. Linden, that would be good. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I think I promised somebody I will not pull him on a stage, but I... Hello. Never mind. <laughs> Hello, Linden. Hello. And uh, Linden, I have a question for you. Can you please give me any date? I mean, <laughs> I'm not asking for a date, I'm asking you to give me a date, meaning a number. Um, January 24th? January 24th. And? Year? Year, yes. 1970. Oh, actually, in the future would be best. Oh, 2000. If you're talking about dates, it needs to be in the future. 24 24. 24 24? 24, 24. Is that the song? Is it 25, 24? 25, 24. Your choice, your choice. Oh, whatever, 24. 24. Perfect. It'll make sense later on. Now, Linden, um, I lived in Topanga for about six years now, and I know that there's a market here every Saturday. Hi, 
Friday. Friday, I'm sorry, Friday, and you have produce here and healthy food. Well, I've been interested in healthy food for a long time, and I found out that actually here in the US it starts with a very early age. Basically, our children are made to believe that by consuming a large quantity of spinach, a Popeye, the cellular man is a perfect, they can grow a massive volume. But let me ask you this, can a older sailor smoking a pipe that's consuming a tobacco be a good role model for your children? I don't think so. I don't think so either. So I did more research on this and I found that uh, the perfect diet, but uh, usually when I have my assistant on the stage uh, today, she's back there but she's busy, uh, I actually ask you, these are some questions and I'm going to ask you to read those questions and if I can have a microphone for Lyndon. Yes, and every time I'll give you a cue, you read the question. So uh, maybe we can start right away from the first one. Can you hear me? Oh, you can hear me. Perfect. Okay. So can you read the first one, please? Question number one. Thank you for selecting me as your assistant. I feel so privileged. Oh, don't worry about that. that. I bring lots of people on the stage all the time. <laughs> that was perfect. Was so that? every time I'm going to give you a cue, you'll read it exactly like that. Got it. Got it. Now, Lyndon, I noticed that... The most basic elements of every single diet are element uh, is vitamin B, uh, A, vitamin B, vitamin C, occasionally D, fiber, and iron. Where do we find them? Well, the best place is right here. Not the apple, the needles. Basically, the needles are soaked inside of an apple. And by the way, if you really like this lecture, you can purchase my lectures after this lecture for only 1995 uh, <laughs> when we are done. So uh, these are soaked inside of an apple. How long you, <laughs> they're supposed to soak them, you'll find in my lecture notes for only $29.95 after lecture. So they soak inside of an uh, apple, then you place them, you can actually take any of those, make sure this is a real solid needle. Any of them? I take one? Yes, you can take on one, one out. Make sure it's solid, sharp. Is it? Yes. Perfect, I'll take it back. <laughs> okay. Then, how does it work? You place the needle on the, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, so, following by Tasty H2O. Uh, maybe we should speed it up. Lyndon, yeah. hold the bottle, uh, hold the apple. Okay. I see you're very happy I chose you for this one. Mm -hmm. Very quickly. You know I'm allergic to apples. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> Luckily I'm not eating it, it's okay. You'll place the needles on your tongue. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Swallow the needles, follow me like tasty H2O. Next question. Do you really eat the needles? Yes, I do. Take a look. Ew. Good. Now, eat the needles. that was vitamin A, B, C, occasionally D. Where? And some uh, iron, but where is the fiber? Linden, right here. This ordinary cotton thread. This would be a What length of the cotton thread you need? That you'll find in my lecture notes for only $39.95 after his lecture. <laughs> you place it in the pan, and then. There you are. Following by Tasty H2O. Next question Do you really eat the thread? Yes, I do. Take a look. Oh gosh, he really ate the thread. Next question. <laughs> Do you really drink the water? Well, you saw me, didn't you? Why are you asking such silly questions? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> how long, of, you, of course, you can keep the needles in your stomach because you need to bring them out. They're very, they can be very harmful. How long you can keep them in your stomach, that will find in my lectures for only $49.95 after this lecture. But I need to bring them back. However, to you, because you know I do some magic and you would accuse me of do, uh, doing some sleight of hand, I'm going to use these to tie my thumbs. First, take a look at them. These are basically wires. You can take them. Take Little a look. pipe cleaner. Wires which are pipe cleaners, yes. That's exactly what they are. Yeah. Two wires covered with the fuzzy stuff. We'll Love. place them together, tie them together like this in a kind of cross, and I'll tie my thumbs together with those, as you said, pipe cleaners. You can put a couple more twists on that one. Perfect. And then okay? those two. Can I? Yes. Yes, you may. Okay. Tie them up. Mm -hmm. Make it very tight. 
I don't want to make it too tight. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm tight and I cannot do any slide of hand. Still, we need to bring those needles back. I can show you to you standing up, but you're learning this, little, uh, this lecture, this diet, so it wouldn't be wise for you to do it standing up. That means you have to sit down. And if you don't mind, I'm going to sit down here. Fine with me. Uh, yeah. Uh, where should I sit down? Up there or up here? Or just... uh. <laughs> oh, tricky. Um, tricky. Oops. <laughs> Well, this pies, this pies, this uh, problem. <laughs> Ow. <Can't. coughs> Thank you. You guys are supposed to clap now. I think I'd be <laughs> clapping if I wasn't. <laughs> Can you please untie those two? Yeah. So, if you have any questions about this diet, you can buy my lectures for only $59.95. Thank you so much, Lyndon. You were so great. Last question, last thing, if you can read it aloud. But wait, there's more. That was so great. <laughs> Where can I buy your lecture notes? And can you sign your photograph for me? Of course. Please, please, please. Oh, yes. Now, Lyndon, the lecture notes you can buy for only $69.95 after this lecture. And of course, I can find, uh, sign your photograph, uh, my photograph for you after the show in my dressing room. Oh, dear. <laughs> Thank you so much. Big applause for Lyndon. Thank you. Thank you. And before we do so, actually, I, I need to ask one more person. And uh, anybody, just raise your hand. You were the first one. Can you tell me any kind of animal? Uh, cheetah. Cheetah. How do you spell it? Oh. <laughs> I'm foreigner. Yes. C H E E T A. No? Yeah. Cheetah. Yeah. Cheetah, very good. And let me actually grab something here. Mm -hmm. So, this little box has been sitting here since the very beginning. And uh, again, if I can ask anybody, anybody from the audience, step forward. Uh, somebody adult we can trust, perhaps you. Actually, you. Yes. And if I can ask you to bring the box right here, the middle of the stage, right here. And actually, let me return this book here. Very good. No, no, the whole thing, the whole table. Yes. Mm -hmm. And here's the key. If you can open the box. And can I ask for the microphone or actually grab it? Very good. Now remove that little thing. Actually, I take it out from you. This is yours. And what do you see inside? Piece of paper. Piece of paper. So let's take this paper. Take it. And can you please open it? And read loudly what it says. Thank you for having me here tonight. Hopefully, Judith. I do believe we do have a Judith up there. We'll be able to join us next time on the 42424. Would that match? With 14 cheetahs. 
Well, thank you very much. You. Very well read. Thank you. And we we'll go back. Now, can I please ask my assistant on the stage for a moment? Well, many times I have a fine gentleman asking me, how is it possible to, to win a heart of a beautiful, lovely lady? They do believe it's uh, some kind of magic. I use uh, sorcery or I use some potions, spells. The thing is, it's very simple. It's actually very simple. First, you need to dress up for the occasion. Well, sometimes dress down for the occasion, so then... Thank you. Then sometimes the woman like more of the wild type. Can we turn down the lights? Actually, no. Uh, yes, turn down that, that light. But we need a little more mood, mood light for this. And of course, the main important thing is, after we turn the mood light on, thank you. Main important thing is the mute mood music. As you can see, Jenny went with me without any hesitation. Jenny fell in love with me immediately. Isn't that true? Or shall I do the number one more time? Not needed, I know. Yes, turn it down now. Now, Jenny, unfortunately, some of these people would say that I merely tricked you to come up here on a stage. They don't believe it's a true love. So can you please take a look in the audience? anywhere and tell me a point if you see anywhere a fine gentleman which is brave enough <laughs> to fight for your hand. <laughs> Just point. I don't care. Uh, I see one right there. Right there? <laughs> what is his name? A little girl on the Little girl? Okay. Yeah. Sir, you're being chosen. <laughs> Come up here for a moment. <coughs> what is your name, sir? Matt. Matt. But who cares? You hear just <laughs> if you can stand on the left side. Now, Jenny, to prove that I am indeed not using any sorcery, and this is the true love, I brought with me this device. This device was given to me by John Pomeroy as well, and he told me to bring it to every show, and I can prove that love really stands. Now, Jenny, this device will go around your waist. Mm -hmm. And we can hold it right there. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Very good. And uh, yes, hold it. Don't move. Then we will apply this. This, Jenny, is a rope. And don't worry, I didn't watch the movie Fifty Shades of Grey, so I have no idea what to do with it. <laughs> we'll place the rope through the openings in this device. Run it right through. <coughs> Let's see, it's tangling around, and you can see it goes right through the opening. Mm -hmm. I love this show. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I can ask you, sir, to hold the rope in your hand right here, close it, mm -hmm. and a uh, little tight, tight it up, tight it up, very good, very good, very good, very good, perfect. Now, Jenny. In a moment, we will reveal the truth. Because in a moment, I will ask you to raise your hands. And while screaming, Vaslav is great. You don't have to do that, but if you do, it's much better. <laughs> Walk 
right forward and attempt to go back to your seat. Because if you do like to stay with me, you'll be able to walk right through the rope and be free. However, if you like to stay with, uh, what's your name again? <laughs> M Matt? Yes. Yeah, tied it up, tied it up, Matt, yeah. So, if you like to stay with uh, Matt, you'll be forever bound inside of the device, unable to move, and you're stuck with him. <laughs> Are you ready to do that? So on the count three, raise your hands in the air, scream what do we like, and walk forward and see what happens. So one, I'm terrible, so you're supposed to be loud, count from everybody, you didn't get the script. <laughs> so one more time. One, two, three. Jenny. <laughs> on the count three, on the count three, you drop the device, let go of it, raise your hands in the air, and proclaim the true love to me. I mean, yeah, whatever you like. Are you ready? One more time. One, two, three, go. And yes, she walked right through the road. Thank you so much, Matt, you lost. You can go back to your seat. And yes, Jenny, you can join, join Lyndon coming back backstage after the show. Presentation for the magicians. However, I have one more thing to do. I need a couple. Is there a couple in this room? Two people. Yes? Oh, Bill and Gail. Bill, Bill, Gail. Gail. Bill and Gail, can you please come up here? And Gail, if I can ask you to come up here on the stage, and Bill, if you can stay right there. And let me turn it, if you can sit on the chair. Actually, you know what? I just changed my mind. I know what I want to do. Can you sit up here? Because we still need a PowerPoint presentation on this one. Not yet, don't turn it on yet. When I was asked to do this show, I was asked if I can do something. If actually the lady who did interview with me asked me if I was influenced by Topanga or if Topanga helped me to do some uh, with my magic. And actually, first I said no, but can you turn it on? Then I actually found out. And next, next slide. Then I thought, yes, actually, that's it did influence me because I don't know if you know that place, Finger Rock, and that's where I had my biggest magic. However, in Topanga, the biggest magic is magic of love. So let's see if it really works. First, Gail, can you please uncross your legs and put your hands on ideas? In a moment, I will ask you to close your eyes. And when you close your eyes, I will attempt, only attempt, to touch you here on the bridge of your nose. When you feel it, I need you to say loudly and clearly, yes, or now. So that is the moment when it happened. Ready? Close your eyes. Now. Open your eyes. And you can ask everybody up here, I, don't, I hope you've seen it, I have never touched you. Well, what is it? Let me actually pick this up for a moment. So you, you see there's nobody behind. What you just witnessed or what you just felt was um, what do you call aura or cold aura or energy field around people's body, which is known fact. What is not known as much that with the special movements of hands, you can actually diminish the aura diminished the energy field, and the person with diminished energy field became super sensitive, hypersensitive to feel, touch. And actually, if I can ask you to sit right here so people can see in the light. Mm -hmm. And if I can ask you, stand right here on the stage. Because in a moment, I will ask you again to close your eyes. Yeah, right there on, on the corner. I'll ask you again to close your eyes, your hands like this. And this time, no matter what happens, I want you to keep a very straight face. Do not react, do not talk, do not say anything at all. Even if you want to, just keep quiet. 
keep straight face, listen to my voice, listen to my instructions, and I will take it from there. Are you ready? Good. Close your eyes, take a deep breath. Of course, you need to breathe out, otherwise you're still free diving. <laughs> And for that, I would like to pitch my next uh, free diving class, which is this Saturday. <laughs> you can learn it to do it there, but not yet, yet. So close your eyes, take a deep breath, breathe out. And actually, if I can ask you to come all the way back there. Keep your eyes closed, take a deep breath. No, 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 this way, closer. Mm -hmm. And what do you want to do? Stay right there. <laughs> oh, shh. Take a deep breath. Good. One more time, take a deep breath, and this time, as you breathe out, slowly count in your mind from 10 to 1, and on count 1, open your eyes. Good. Do you feel relaxed? Somewhat. <laughs> That's actually the first time, because usually people get tense. But while you were relaxing, did you feel anything? Because I think this is here. Did you? You, you, you did what you get? Somebody whacked me on the back. Somebody whacked you on the back. Actually, as a manufacturer, you were standing right here. You were all the way back there. You can pretty much tell her, I never get closer to her than this. I had never touched her. However, I have tapped him. How many times? How many times you felt it? Twice. 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 Yeah. Can you please stand up? Because I do believe I was not even close. And this is what I'm talking about. Because here in Topanga, the biggest magic is the magic of love. And this must be love, and it's only sealed with kiss. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. My name is Václav. Have a good evening. And also, big applause for Natalie. If she can. Thank you. Thank you, girl. And he can turn it on again. <laughs>